think they're blood. Wilbur adores her. Fern, stop inventing these wild tales. Oh, I'm not inventing. I'm just telling the facts. Darling, I want you to go out and play outside today instead of going to Uncle Homer's barn. But I like it over there. You're spending too much time in that barn. It isn't good for you to be alone so much. But I'm not alone. My best friends are in the barn cellar. And it's not at all lonely. Once she had promised Wilbur she was going to save his life, Charlotte was determined to keep her promise. Day after day, she hung from her web and waited patiently for an idea to come to her. <laughs> How perfectly simple. What's that, Charlotte? I plan to save your life by playing a trick on Zuckerman. Trick won't hurt him, will it? Trust me, Wilbur. People are very gullible. They'll believe anything they see in print. Hey, why isn't that gosling with his mother? Because he likes Wilbur. Shrimpy little thing. <coughs> Sounds more like a pig than a gosling. <coughs> wow, look at that big spider. I'm gonna catch it for my collection. Avery, you leave that spider alone. That's a fine spider and I'm gonna catch him. What's the matter with you, Wilbur? He doesn't like you in there, now get out. What a stink! <laughs> it's a good thing for you to save that egg, Charlotte. It certainly is, and I'm grateful to you, Templeton. Well, this whole business is well and good for Charlotte. But what about the rest of us? Well, who wants to live in a barn that is perfumed with rotten eggs? It will clear soon. See? The breeze is already taking it away. Afternoon passed and evening came. Shadows lengthened across the farm, and the cool, sweet breath of evening flowed in. Charlotte? Yes, Wilbur? Are you thinking about your plan to save my life? Chin up, Wilbur. Just stop worrying. I don't want to die, Charlotte. I love it here in the barn. Of course you do. We all do. How are you going to save me, Charlotte? Now go to sleep. You'll see me in the morning. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> 